All right, Mr. Dupre, uh, two detectives and, well, one being the highest rank in CID currently other than Copper, so. I didn't even know. Okay, well. Last night, something happened to me. And I don't do anything in this town but try to be a damn lawyer, a good lawyer. I was dragged into something, into the fire, just for being a friend. Quite sick of it. Quite sick of these people. I almost died last night. Along with Kevin Shaw. Kevin Shaw. I was on my way to a pool party. Kevin Shaw basically um, called me. Said that he had a meeting with uh, Vinnie Pistone. Vinnie Pistone. Uh, told him to come to the Vinewood Bowl. Now with the Vinewood Bowl, there's ledges, and uh, Kevin seems to be very paranoid. He kind of hedges his bets. With that, um, he was looking on top of a Overlook with binoculars, and he saw that there were a bunch of people surrounding the Vinewood Bowl on different sides. It reeked of a setup, so he didn't attend. He kept getting calls from Vinny, what have you. He got injured, and we were in the hospital. Well, actually, he hit, he said, uh, he said, meet me at the hospital. And so I did. He, he arrived with Mr. Chang in the passenger seat. I go in the hospital to see Kevin. He's paranoid as usual, and I'm scared for him. He says, Nora, you have a gun on you. Yes, I try to now. I really, uh, I really try to because I don't know in the city anymore. He said, good. I need you to climb in the, in the, the back seat behind Chang. So I waited him out. Chang actually came out. When I went back into the passenger seat, I climbed behind him. Gladys was distracting, usual. Before I know it, Chang climbs in the back seat. There's a gun to my. He takes us to a warehouse. Deputy Keys can tell you where it is. I don't know what it's about. I'm scared for my life. He uh, takes dirty rags and stuffs it in my ears and puts me in a. He then brings me downstairs where there's Vinny Pistone. Chang himself, Charles Johnson, I believe. Uh, I forgot the other one more. Sure, uh, Deputy Keys wrote a report on who was there. I is this uh, Raven? Is this the email that you already sent me? Just to make sure. Yeah, iPhone. This is gonna be okay. Carry on, Mister. I. Uh, they were discussing things. Uh, Something about a conflict of interest, a contract, and Negan Graham. So terrified. Then, um, Chang said he had a machete in his hand, and he said there's YouTube videos about how to slice a, a tree where a uh, certain part rolls off, and he said, I might cut off your head. And it will roll to Kevin's feet. I wailed and screamed for my life. I said, I have nothing to do with this. And then they put me back in the corner. I could only see at the corner of my eye that they were pouring gasoline around Kevin. I was mortified, but I couldn't say anything. Go back downstairs and I'm telling, I mean, they, they walked away for something. And Kevin's like, you know, Nora, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, what about my son? For Christ's sake, what are you going to tell him? You got me killed. I just wanted to be your friend for fuck's sake. You know, I'm taking a big risk coming here to you guys. But I'm so fucking tired of this nonsense. So am I, Miss Dupre, so am I. And, well... Uh, Kevin basically said, if you kill us both, who's going to represent you? 
and uh, they they talked and talked and again there was something about uh, Megan Graham or whatever and a conflict of interest or whatnot and then then uh, for some reason uh, they beat Kevin up and then they let us go. Vinny said, you know, Vinny said to us, if I say anything, Kevin dies, and the same thing. Then he said, if uh, Kevin says something, I die. We go outside and we find Deputy Keys and uh, Rogers out there, and I'm crying and wiping my eyes because you know I I could have I could have could have died. Kevin takes me to an airport and explains about a fast lane contract. Apparently, there's some subpoenas and or whatnot with with the Chang gang or whatever, and and I think uh, Negan stands to make a profit if their stuff gets repoed or I don't know. It, it's it's a lot with Mister Mister Graham. I don't know much on that. What I do know is that Kevin only is representing Fastlane. That's all he's done. I know I'm taking a big risk coming. The good thing is my son's nowhere near here. But I can't bring him back to a city that this, that that has this type of shit going on. They've done everything to me and to my friends. They say, "Okay. Go ahead." No, you carry on, Mr. Pride, and interrupt. They say it's uh I remember my first week here. They say, "Don't don't say anything. Mind your business. I did that. Effective. And look where I am now. I had a machete to my throat. Sorry this happened to you, Mr. Prey. Obviously, it's the last thing we ever want to happen to anyone within the city. Of course. They're saying, and We can know, assure you that by coming to us, we would, know, we would do nothing to put you or anyone else you care about at risk. Is and there witness protection here? Virtually. I need witness protection. With what happened to me last night, I know I'm Miss, going to be Miss watched. Dupre, if, okay, I want you to think before you ask us something like that, because if I put you in witness protection, it means you go into a house, you don't leave that house until I tell you to leave. Is that, do you understand that? Yeah. I have a case You need to realize up. what implications that has on you if I put you in that position. You will not be able to do anything. You cannot contact your friends. You cannot use your phone. You can't. You can't see your son. You can't do anything. Nothing. So I just want to be clear about what that is before you ask us for it. Okay, it's a pretty big thing. And to be fair, Mr. Prey, by disappearing off the streets, it's probably going to look more suspicious. Agreed. Agreed. Do you think that this uh, that they're going to come back and try this again? Yes. Okay, I do. I do think they're going to come and try to do this again. They might try to corner me alone. I don't know. They know I don't do anything. They don't know any trouble. But Mr. Chang said, oh, I know you and your friend are, are rats, you're snitches. And I don't even know, I don't know what he's talking about in regards to that. But in my opinion, if you already think I'm a rat, give me the cheese because I will confirm that for you after what you did to me. Okay, to be clear, Ms. Dupre, would you be willing to go on stand and talk about all of this? Could not look my son in his eyes if I could not stand up for what's right. I'm a lawyer for this reason. All right, I understand. Ray, do you have any questions? No, not at, not at this time, my God. What to do here? I'm going to need you to uh, get with Detective McCormick. Okay. Yeah. Is he awake? I can go right, and I... shoot him an email. Yeah, get in touch with them, send him all of this information today. It needs to be done today, okay? Yeah, no, I'm about to finish compiling my notes once we're done. Okay, good. Get that over to him. And Mr. Dupre, what I'm going to do is ask Detective McCormick to get back in touch with you, okay? And we'll go from there. Yeah. Okay. I just hope I'm, um, I'm going to go and help the other two officers that are around. I'll, I'll leave you guys to it. If you need anything, just ask me. Thank you, Chief Snow. I respond. Danny, have you got anything else? 
Let me have a look in a moment. You said that Shar explained to you the contract between fast lanes. Could you tell us what that was? Um, I How, think... How, like, Negan could... Because Negan could benefit from this? If... If they get their... They buy a lot of things, according to Shaw. If they get their their cars repossessed, the whole thing. If if Negan gets his cars repossessed, uh, he can he can benefit by reselling those cars that he's already profited off of. That's one thing. Also, uh, Shaw has kind of like a no compete type of thing in uh, clause in that contract, saying that. That he cannot, uh, you know, you know, uh, represent or do any litigation against Fastlane. Anything that does not benefit Fastlane, you know, or harms Fastlane, Kevin Shaw cannot be a part of. Okay. But Shaw has done nothing wrong or illegal, but be a lawyer. I want to make that perfectly clear, as far as I know, anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems Mr. Chang and Vinny sure. and them have they have warped minds they just think everybody's out to get them even if you're minding your business hell look at me all i did was send a goddamn car and i almost didn't make it home now mr prairie i know you're taking a big risk coming to us um do you think kevin shaw would do the same or do you think he would not come to us you think he'd keep it to himself I think Shaw won't come to you. In fact, he said for me to forget it. He said, forget this happened, Nora. You can't win here. You understand? If you do this, he tried his hardest to convince me not to go to you guys. No way. Do you think if we Does approach he... Shaw about it, be able to keep that? He will kill me. Talk to he, them. Not kill me, literally, but he, he didn't want me to come to you guys at all. Do you understand? No, I understand that. My question is, if Shard does find out, or if you'd, would you tell, have you told him that you're going to speak to us? No, because how adamant he was. Okay. He even wanted me to, to tell I you guys will... something else. I want you to keep it that way at this time. Okay, works for me. If anyone asks anything about what it was, Yes, an easy scapegoat could be the. Could be what? Could be me questioning you about Murphy's actions. Ah, uh, yes. Like Murphy. I have been with majority of the lawyers in the past few days. If anyone asks about today. Yeah. And well, Mr. Murphy, Frey, I know you're aware of this. Yes. You need to not speak about this, unless it's to a detective or to, to Daryl McCormick or to one of the detectives. Not even your closest friends, because at this time, if this threat is real, I know that you think that you have might have friends you can trust. But as you said, Kevin Shaw is your friend, and he would, and we don't know if he would go back and tell someone. So for your safety, do not mention at all that you've even spoken to anyone about us in this situation. Detective, as far as this situation goes, only you, Shaw, and the Chang gang know about, this. and that's how it will remain. Good. One more question. You specifically outlined to not uh, get in contact with Detective Winters. Yes, I did. Why, uh, why exactly is that? Because she's friends with Murphy Braun. Cooperate with him in some way to... Wait, what was that? you believe that she would tell him or cooperate with him in some way that would be in an unprofessional manner and unjust from her duty? I uh, don't know about that. I can't say that. If, uh, for her police work, she does good police work. I can't say that. I can't speak to that. What I do know is what I've observed. As a paralegal and as a lawyer, she does hang out with him. She does. No worries. And, uh... Will she, be, you know, act contradictory to uh, her position? I can't say. But I'm saying if uh, you're hanging out with people that might that might kill me or kidnap me, 
and something like this happens, I'm not uh, prone to talk to you about it. I understand. Right. Let's hear of anything else, Jenny. I'm uh, I'm alright. I gotta get this compiled and sent over to Sergeant McCormick. By the way, I might um, approach you guys about witness protection later on. Something okay. else happens. Do you have any sure. advice for me in the meantime? I'm alone a lot of the time in the city, and I still have to, I still have clients. I have one case, and after that case, I probably won't be taking any more due to my safety. Do your best to minimize your exposure. Um, just, you know, hang around areas, high contact areas. Do your best to travel from your home to work and then home again. Don't loiter around any public places. That's probably the best I can say. Stay out of uh, the sights of anyone. Is the hospital okay? As Snow said, the... Yeah. Yeah. I just, just But we need vigilant. to make sure, Mr. Prey, that you are absolutely clear on this. Um, I understand that you, you, wanna, you will want to go to Shaw and explain everything to him. Do not at this time. Oh, uh, like yeah. I can't make that more explicitly no, no, clear. No, 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 no. I already said that he did not want me even come to you guys. He wants this brushed onto the rug. Uh, it, it would not help me. It would not help you. And frankly, um, yeah. Just keep in mind, I've been playing nice with Mr. Braun as much as I can. Not too much, so he's us. But. Yep. Mr. Braun, definitely, from what I've seen as a paralegal, uh, what he's been doing as of late, it's not good. Yeah, don't worry. I am in the midst of looking into that still, so. But, uh, yeah, as Snow said, uh, if you go into witness protection, you'll be put into a house you'll be stripped of any form of communication device so your phone you'll be under strict 24-hour surveillance um so yeah you'll have no contact with anyone at all no internet connections no phone connections nothing i know this is going to be hard mr prey but the best thing to do at this point is to act like exactly as sure told you like nothing happened because if you make difference if you start making subtle differences if you stop talking to people, if you stop t going, like, doing the things that you normally do, people will get suspicious. It's in human nature. Because they're looking for a reason right now. For the sounds of it, they're looking for a reason to pin that you're a snitch on you. And by making any sort of different sort of styles or acting any differently, they're gonna use that against you. Whereas if you act as though you have nothing to hide because nothing's happened, you're more than likely going to be able to walk around pretty safe. I would hope. So I hate that term snitch for me because that's not what I am. Oh, of course. It's not you know? what you're doing. It's the most horrible. I, I'm saying that in, in their terms. In our terms, yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's informing us so that we can keep the rest of the citizens safe. Right. I mean, I understand if I do the things they do and then come to you. Yeah, that makes me a snitch. But again, I don't, I'm just a fucking lawyer. For Christ's sake. The word snitch is overly used. It's become a too broad of a term for what it actually is. Snitch would be someone in a gang, possible usual yeah. criminal uh, gang. If you talk to the police about something another gang member did, then you're a snitch. Yeah. Talking to the police about a different situation that your gang is involved in doesn't mean you're snitching. Talking to the police in general does not mean you're a snitch. Reporting a crime does not mean you're a snitch. People just don't have the, uh, <clears throat> the I guess, street smarts to understand. They don't seem to be very well educated. I agree with you. And the term we're well, going to no, use for you, ma'am, is... Snitch. Yeah, you're an informant. <clears throat> you're giving us information that otherwise yes. we wouldn't have been able to have. Exactly. You are um, also a victim reporting a crime. Correct. I know Shaw's not going to for whatever reason. And I won't talk, I promise. I won't tell you this to anybody. Not even Carrick, my ex-husband, not even my current boyfriend. I cannot, and I will not. And yes, this is a big risk. Uh, I know that. This is a huge risk. I know I'll be watched, but I'll just, uh, there's three spots I hang out at that people will know me at. It's regular. One courthouse, two hospital, 
Actually, I think I should talk to... Wait, I can't talk to anybody. can't tell anybody. No, oh, ma'am. Apologies. No, ma'am. At this point, you can't. Right. But what am I What am I to do if I'm hanging out at the hospital for a while? The courthouse is an open area. The hospital seems to be a lot more safe unless I become a volunteer receptionist. As I said, you don't act extremely different from how you act normally. You're trying not to draw attention. That means blending in and being the same as you were. Okay. Will do. Um, do you need anything else from me? You both have my number, I'm assuming. I think I should get your number. Yes. yes. I believe you have mine, do you not? Know? I'm not giving my card anyway. There you go, ma'am. Thank you, Detective Hall. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Prey. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry this happened yeah, to you. Yeah, we appreciate it. We'll do the best that we can to get to the bottom of this. Well, uh, in the safest hands of the city, I'll tell you that much. My team is uh, is second to none. That's why I came to you. Uh, you you guys were so inept before. Personally, had picked by myself it. and the captain. So. Wow. <clears throat> Again, if you guys were buffoons, I would never have said a word. Well, I trust in you. The uh, Blank County Sheriff's Office. Jenny, were you? Uh, did you take notes through that? All right, you able to send them over to me so then I can cross-reference with mine, compile it, and yep. get it sent. Detective Sergeant McCormick. I'm going to stay here and let you leave with uh, the detective. A hey, Detective Hall. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Um, I think you and Serge make a very good match. Keep him happy. Thank you, ma'am. I hate it. Like I brought you a lot of shit. No, no, it's fun. Um, don't think of it that way at all. Uh, it's a lot, but trust me. Uh, I'll just say, um, what you've given us isn't exactly a new investigation. I see. We have tabs on every single person in the city. So. Including me, guessing. Well, you do live here, Mr. Prank. Wait, what'd you say, sir? You, uh, you do live in this city. Well, I'll say this. Hopefully one day, I'll be brought down. Really sick of this shit. Day is nine, Mr. Pry, don't you worry. The day is nigh. Thank you, Detective. Cool. You have a good day, I know. You too. <laughs>